we bought that property in February. In February. I will only be there for two months. For two months. For two months. All the hard work. All the sleepless nights. Everything. If you are in Lagos, you know how much properties in Ethiopia are cost. You know how much properties in Ethiopia are cost. <laughs> Each time my son see me crying, he will always ask me why I'm crying. Mommy, you've been crying. How do I explain to our son? How? What do I tell my children? I'm trying so hard to be a strong woman. But this is very painful. I don't even wish anybody a pain like this. I don't wish anybody to work so hard, so tireless and face something like this. I don't. <laughs> now, can you people see her pain? She is crying. A property she just bought was marked for demolition in Lagos and has been demolished. When we tell you not to buy in Lagos, you will think, um, are we not Nigerians? Yes. For now, we are Nigerians. But Lagos is not a place to buy property. Having seen what has been happening, the government can just mark your property even if it is legitimate. You saw the kind of demolition that is happening in Lagos. You could be affected. Don't buy in Lagos. I am specifically talking to Igbo people. Stop buying properties in Lagos. If you have a way of disposing big properties you have, dispose them off. You could be targeted, yes. And, you know, I saw in the comment section of this video, some are saying, if you have a good lawyer, you could sue. We know how to get it back. How? How? You think in Nigeria system where uh, the law is not totally respected, you can just have it. The other day, it was said that a case is pending in the court. And the army still went on in Enugu to demolish somebody's property. Let's say it's even the army's own. But then, for the fact that there's a it, the matter is pending in court, the army should have waited a little while. But they demolish it, they evicted the resident and demolish it with the resident's property there. So you think there's law in Nigeria? Can you see how she is crying? Lagos is not a place to invest anymore. Especially, you are talking about property, landed property and the rest. And um, it's not only Lagos nowadays, though, but Lagos is the major one uh, where we have such problems, where the state can just mark anything. But it's happening in some of our eastern states too. So be careful where you live, you you go to buy property. Because we, we you know we always complain Lagos, 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 Yoruba people. Back home, the other day, untouchable comedies raised an alarm. They were calling for help because legit, legitimate properties they bought in Enugu their home state 
were almost being demolished. If not for that cry, I don't know what really happened afterwards. But houses around them were demolished. In Anambra, the demolition continues. So be careful. But most especially Lagos. A Lagos case is targeted demolition. Yes. Some of these demolitions are targeted. Yeah. It's, it's somewhat ethnically targeted. So you have to be careful. 